Hey, we got some rain. It's uh, raining in good old France. It was actually a super cool experience. Um, we're kind of out here, uh, you know, and past the house. Um, I'm in uh, room number 11, one of the one of the bedrooms here. You can see, got the beds ready. We got some bedding ready to go. The bathroom, a couple of sconces. Out the front of the house, we've got fields, and then out the back of the house, more fields. And and it's super cool because you could kind of hear you could hear it coming. Like it was like this big thing. You could just track the whole storm system. Uh, so I've I've really been enjoying that. Uh, and then of course uh, the yard was so dry, so it's been just fantastic to see it get a little bit of a little bit of water. Funny, all the potholes come out. <laughs> you can see where the potholes are when the rains there. Uh, yeah, I was I've I've been super worried for about half a year about how much um, how much leaking we're gonna get from the ceiling. And maybe I can take you up there. I think we'd probably lose the feed, but. I went up uh, after a huge rain last night, and, and there are there are leaks, probably maybe a dozen, uh, all kind of located in four areas. So, um, so it's cool that they're only um, in a few areas. Uh, and I was worried that, of course, the water would run down because it goes way up here, right? There's all kinds of uh, there's all kinds of gaps and stuff. Let's see if you can see that. Like there's little little holes, and you can see the sun all kinds of places. Big, huge gutter, by the way, all the way across there. Uh, which runs like a river and uh so the water drips down into the attic which would be like the fifth floor um and then it kind of rolls through in different places down to the servants quarters which would be the fourth floor is that right fourth floor yeah it would be called the duzium uh, etage second story european and but but what i didn't realize is that the floor on these things is like two feet thick and it's just concrete and bricks and nothing's going through there. It's not gonna run through it. There's a place where, where the floor came through a little bit um, because they had a bit of a leak. And, uh, and and you look down and it's, I don't know, 18, 20, maybe even 24 inches. So it's just hugely thick. So when, when the French owner told me they never, never had a problem with, with leaks or rain coming in from the gutter, it's because it, it goes, it runs through the, uh, the slate roof into the attic and most of it just sits in the attic, and then some of it comes down to the servants' quarters. But, uh, oh, I think my wife is going to open a window. Where are you, Bess? Wave to me. Okay, so the poetic part of me, this is I think this is the girls' wing where I'm standing. Uh, Leslie thinks maybe it's the boys' wing. We're still debating. But um, I think it's kind of fun that the genders could wave to each other um, across the wings. Could, like if somebody fell in love or something, they could wish each other good night across. Okay, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Anyways, lots of cool, lots of cool stuff. Oh, this is cool too about the chateau. Um, so this stone, Tufo stone, that in the Loire Valley, all these, uh, all these chateau are built of two with Tufo stone. It's only maybe half or even less half, half the strength of granite. Maybe it's less, and it's significantly let's it's significantly more porous. So a lot of water gets into it, and that causes trouble. So what they do is um, anywhere there's the top, they put lead so that the water doesn't run in. So there's like a huge amount of lead across the top, uh, which is kind of cool. Okay, I'll see if I can, I'll see if I'll lose you here. I'm gonna walk through the house a little bit. Again, that's, what a good deal that was for 120 bucks. We've been looking at, at chandeliers and there's some pretty spendy ones, but. What are you doing? Hey, I'm on Facebook Living. Yeah. <laughs> is it rain? This is my wife, hi, here we are. I thought you were gonna open the window and I could wave to you across the thing. Oh, uh, that's funny. Would have been fun. I was shutting it. Oh, you were closing it, yeah. <laughs> We closed all the back. Oh, the rain is great. Yeah, we're enjoying the rain quite a bit because it was like 100 degrees. It was super hot for quite a while. Our many, many car. days. Yeah, so it's really nice. Everything really, really yeah. needs water. Everything's very, very dry. Super dry. Straight down too, eh? Yeah, that's the tunnel over there. If anyone's wondering where the bomb shelter is. We also think, there's Leslie's finger. Yeah, there we go, right there over there. There it is. Um, also, there's like a foundation, which we think may have been a chapel at one point. It's gotta be. Yeah. Tragic, tragic that it's gone. It is. Um, we'll should we see if we can walk through the house? Okay, well, Good luck. yeah, it's a little messy, but well, no, this is luck. a fun room. Being able to do it. Uh, Amy wants to call that her room. Also, uh, Sean Davidson, your daughter, I believe, has called that room too. Um, we've made some progress over here. Hopefully, the Facebook Live will stay with me. We got this shower going. Got to support that, so that's fun. Got a new toilet there, so that's good too. 
Um, we've had a lot of good progress with the plumber. Hopefully I don't lose you guys. This is the girls' wing. So that was room two, room 12. This is room 14. Again, we got more bedding for the students. Um, this one is pretty, <laughs> they're pretty serious about the blue. We put a new toilet in here, so that's nice to have a clean toilet. And this bathtub is awesome. Feels like you're the king of the castle. And so we just put a shower rod and a shower up so you can shower in there. Lots of fun. So that's shower number th four, three, yeah, four. I didn't show you the bathroom in the first room. Then, this is nice, there's a door between wings. So if this is the girl's wing, we close the door at 11 or whatever and they have their own space, yay. And the guys have their own space. Uh, I think I showed you this, but it cut out last time. This is Leslie and I, we have a walk-in closet and she put a chandelier there and it has a, I'll show you, it's really cool. We're, we're cleaning up, right? We're working. But this, and here is the little skylight into our master closet where Leslie put a chandelier. I haven't shot enough, did enough shots of the inside of the house. Of course, we're working on everything, so that's part of the problem, but uh, here's the first, this is room 16, first boys' room, potentially. Uh, it also kind of has maybe the best bathroom in the house, potentially, or what will eventually be the bed, ba best bathroom. Big, huge windows, a couple of cool sinks. Tub is fantastic. A bidet, because who doesn't want a bidet? And I put a new toilet in. Oh, you're Oh, I lost you. Oh, man, this is crazy. We keep losing it. A chandelier that desperately needs to be replaced. Uh, uh, new toilet. Another beautiful double set of windows. And, uh, and this shower is going to get changed out, but it works now. So that's great. That's, I think, our seventh or eighth shower. They all, all the rooms have marble places. That's cool. Okay, I would love it if it doesn't go out, but it's probably going to go out. So hopefully it doesn't go out. Okay, this is the dark horse bathroom. This is, uh, we call it the servant's bathroom. The English servant's bathroom. And it's, it's pretty, pretty bad shape. It needs, it needs a complete redo. But it's also kind of cool. It's got this big toilet. And our plumber fixed it. And this hideous shower, which we will fix. But it's got a good base. So that's going to be, that's a bathroom. This is going to be a good bathroom, actually. But right now, it's nobody's bathroom. It's just free for all. And it's not, it's, bare, it's usable, but it's ugly. But it would be bathroom numbers nine or 10. Servant staircase, where I went up to fight the owl. And also, uh, it goes down 76 stairs, uh, four flights, I think it goes, four flights. That's where I was painting. And then, still haven't lost you. Okay, over to room, I believe this is room 17. It's a big room. This could be a three-person room. Kind of a fun room. We don't have any beds in here right now, but it's razzle frats. Oh, no, hey, you're back. Okay. Well, I've got you. So I'm working in this room. This is an ugly bathroom, but it's coming along. We put a new toilet in, so that always helps, right? And again, who doesn't want a bidet? A pink bidet. And a pink shower. But this used to be, um, well, it was, this is the, the ceiling that caved in sort of a little bit. And so it's pretty high. It's about 12 feet. Uh, and uh, we, I painted, now this is two coats. The paint is the worst paint I've ever used in my life. It's like if you put Kool-Aid in water and called it paint, and you can see we still have a couple significant stains that may still be wet, so I gotta work on that. But this is two coats, and there'll be at least one more, maybe two more. Anyways, that's where we're working. Lots of cool skylights inside the house in this place. Thanks for watching. Sorry for all the cutouts. The internet coverage is not great is not great. And again, the, the boys have a door on their wing too. So we, everybody gets, gets a little bit of safety. Okay. Have a good, uh, hope, have a good day. And hopefully this uploads. Okay. Oh, one more thing. Oh, we're back. Okay. So, uh, it's, it's called the Chateau de la Griffery. And, uh, every night we have an owl that buzzes us. Chateau de Griffery means castle of the claw. Tell me that you don't see an an owl there. Tell me they didn't, I'm, I'm, they think of everything in the chateau, I'm telling you. Kind of fun. Anyways, and the other thing is we measured our, our roof uh, in the, on the main floor. Uh, 15 feet 8 inches tall. So that's uh, 4.8 meters. Crazy. Anyways, hope everybody's having a good day. The rain is slowing down. I'm going to go up in the attic and see how many leaks we had. Talk to you later.